Hey guys, welcome back to All Media Services. We're taking a look today at a common problem that is happening this time of year for Starlink users and as well for generally almost every satellite user out there. We've been installing these satellite systems or similar satellite systems as the Starlink for about 20 years now. And trees are the nemesis. Every year we would always be moving dishes, pushing them around to different areas, trying to find clear signal and Starlink has proven to be no different at all. As a matter of fact, it's even more important to get the Starlink in a clear line of view, especially if you're using things like Zoom meetings where you need that constant uh, dynamic feed. There's a constant going up and down, up and down, and any moment of break um, really hampers the signal and the whole experience altogether. Now, Starlink system has built into the app, it has a visibility tool. And if you take a look on your phone here, you should hopefully have a message that's going to say all good Starlink has not been obstructed recently. If you happen to see a little bit of red in there on that particular blue spinning around as I see I got just a little tick of it in there that could be a branch that could be potentially hampering your signals. As the satellites are flying across uh, the sky above us here out in, into the geo atmosphere. Are you seeing that right? As the satellites are flying by us, your your little dishy is hooking up to them. If there's a tree branch that happens to be in the way when that satellite's going out, not only are you going to miss that connection, but then you have the possibility of missing on the next satellite feed coming over too. So it's really important to get that. So we're going to take a quick look at a few scenarios today in which you can hopefully improve your signals and keep them good throughout the summer. So using the visibility tool on your app, you can see the, the, the sky, you can see everything around there. But there's another tool that you can use. It's called statistics. When you click on there and you look at the top one says uptime and you can see where it says outages there. If you notice it to be very constant in there, not just occasionally, like a cat maybe jumping on your dish, but a constant, like every time the wind blows, you're always seeing these downtime come up here or outages caused there. You've probably got some trees and you need to be checking your visibility tool and see which trees are in the way. Now the options are is to move the dish. Sometimes you got to try to get it higher. Sometimes you might just have to reposition it uh, somewhere else on a different part of the roof. But this also is a very handy tool to use. Well, not all trees are the same. Some of these trees, that are growing the leaves here, like this deciduous tree that sprouts the leaves and grows every year are more of a nemesis than other trees that have pointy tops on them, such as your pines and your spruces and stuff like that, where they start to narrow up at the top. You might have an easier time shooting over trees like that, whereas a lot of trees that grow, or if they're young trees and they're growing 10, 20 feet, sometimes in a year, um, you know, that's going to be a real trouble situation that you want to try to avoid. Starlink gives you a tool called the Obstruction Viewer that you can use for setting up in your Starlink system. Now, this is a very handy tool because there are times where you're going to be able to get signal even when you have trees that are as tall as 50 feet or even 60 feet even 70 foot trees might not affect your signal if your satellite is coming in from a different area, right? Now, the satellites, Starlink satellites are constantly changing all the time. So that is why they have a tool like this for people to use. So since Starlink gave us these tools, it's absolutely very helpful for when you're doing these installations, but it's very important that they're used correctly. You don't want any red in your line of view. Yes, your internet will work, but you'll have intermittent problems. And as we mentioned earlier, things like Zoom calls, where it's a constant feed, you're gonna have issues with dropping in and out, right? And trees grow. So give yourself some room, right? Make sure that you've got enough that they can grow a little bit and it won't affect your satellite for sure. But these tools are absolutely handy. Make sure to take a look and use them, guys. And hopefully you get hundreds and thousands of hours of enjoyable time on your Starlink system. Now, if you've been enjoying these videos, make sure to give us a like and a subscribe and go check out our website, www.starlinkcommunityforums.com. Join in the conversation there with hundreds of other Starlink users that are trying to figure out their brand new Starlink system.